our second presenter is Cricket Mobley of Altamaha River, uh, River Trading Company. So. wing it. Um, it's kind of like I'm doing business, I guess. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. How about now? That better? Uh, I am Cricket Mobley, and I run the Omaha River Trading Company. Uh, the genesis of the trading company came out of the pack of coffee that you see on your table there. It's called Omaha Mud. For 30 years, I was in the coffee business here in Brunswick, Georgia. I distribute coffee to about six to seven hundred accounts, and in 2013, I sold the business. But because of the mud and my love of the river, I wanted to do something for other entrepreneurs and help them distribute their products and help them grow their business. I've been blessed, so I wanted to help back. On the table, you'll see where I'm at. You'll see the, uh, the brochure that I put on there. That's where we started. That was part of our distribution. And we also created the website that you see on there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it was above me. I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know how to develop it. And so it really never took off. Even though I did some sales, it wasn't that great. I did better being in the street doing distribution. Still have the business. It's at uh, Two Way Fish Camp, Mudcat Charlie's. You know where that is. I run the marina. This is part of that uh, environment. I love the river. I want to protect the river. I want to grow the people that come to the river and let them know what we have here. Uh, we, the Omaha River really needs a chamber of commerce. We don't have one. We have one in Brunswick. We have one in Darien. And we push the Golden Isles, no offense to anybody involved in the chamber, on either side. But the river in itself is uh, it's 137 miles from middle Georgia. It's 14,000 square miles. It's the average man's coast. If you're in Baxley, the river's the coast. If you're in Jessup, the river's the coast. If you go on up to Hazelhurst, Lumber City, that's the coast for most people. That's where they go. That's where they spend their time on the water. And we just need to get more of those folks down here so they can frequent the restaurants and the hotels and that kind of stuff. So what we've done is I moved into the 21st century. I went to the college, and that's how I got here, and Bill Garland, and I said, I need some help with some interns. He provided me some young kids. They came out, and they said, this is what you need. And it was basically social media. There we go, right over my head again. So we've done it. And we're right in the crux of making the change from what you see on the table, which I'll still keep to pass out during distribution, into the, a new website, the social media, and all those things so that we can again go back, find those products that we need, we've created some of our own, and go through the area that runs from the uh, middle of Georgia all the way down to the coast, bring those people down here, help expose some of our businesses that are around here, the restaurants, the hotels, whatever that people would need, the boat dealerships, whoever needs it. So we kind of reinvented ourselves from being just a, a store on the river, which there are only two of in the whole state of Georgia, both of them in Glen County. And now there's a state house up in Baxley, and everybody knows who I'm talking about, Ben Lee's. If you've never been there, go check it out. They'll give you a free steak that's bigger around if you can eat it. And so what we're trying to do is just bring some attention to the river and preserve it and let people know what we have here. Uh, we've been doing this. I've never been on Facebook, and it, again, it's just, it's, it's just above me. But uh, we've gotten on Facebook. We've got a company uh, called Fine Common Ground, a local company. Some young kids have created a, uh, an opportunity for me to do this the way I want to see it done. Bring, bring people in, bring, make them a part of the river, you know, and expose it to them. And they've done a great job. We're fixing to break with a new website. We're doing a lot of video, which is something that my family has done for, for years. We've always filmed always and we've started creating if you go on the website 
you'll start seeing videos. A lot of it's hunting and fishing. We don't have any kill shots or anything like that. We release a lot of the fish. It's a kind of a green environment. And, you know, just to bring people into the website. And hopefully we'll sell some product at the same time. But mainly, the more people I can get to come down and enjoy the river and take part in the river and what it has to offer, the better off it's going to be for, for me and for the river and for everybody here. So what I'm looking for is if you have any ideas on how to be part e-commerce, part magazine without the paper, I'm looking for it. Any questions? That's pretty convoluted, I know. But it's, been that, it's been that way for me the whole time. I told them every time I go down the road, there's another one that opens that seems to be a part of what we're doing. So I'm really trying to uh, narrow it down, but it's just like the river. It just keeps branching off into other things. So we're just trying to uh, put it all into one package, which would be the website. Uh, and I think you'll like it. If you go check it out, I think you'll like the products. Most of them are local made stuff by local people. Soaps, creams, coffees, a lot of coffee, um, hunting supplies, you name it. Things that, uh, that people have been making for years and they're just starting to market it. And we're going to help them do it. Yes, ma'am. Um, you said something about all the videos that you've done over time. Are all those linked to your website? Or do you have a YouTube it, channel? Or anything? We've got a YouTube channel that we're putting on. The first thing we're doing is putting everything on the Facebook. They're about 30 to 45 seconds. And then we'll move them over to the uh, to the website where you can um, see a little longer version if you want to see that. And then you can move right to YouTube and watch the whole. We can go anywhere from three minutes up to 24 minutes. There's a couple of TV stations that we're actually starting to link to, and they're going to start showing it. And they're, one of them's in North Georgia, one of them's in Jessup. And so it's, 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 it's growing. It's a marketing tool that... Uh, if you watch the Hunt Channel or the Sportsman Channel or any of those, it's very big. It's a $19 billion industry. And so it's something that we have to take part of being there on the river. And uh, it's just a, it's a good way for us to get the word out. I mean, like, my, the questions I get are, where are the gators? <laughs> I mean, you know, do you have gator meat? Are the fish biting? You know what I'm saying? Those are the kind of questions I get where I work. You don't get a lot of those where you work, I'm sure. And so we're trying to we're trying to bring this the river to the into people's homes, let them see what we have, then they can come back down and enjoy it for themselves. Thank you. Um, how many of these products are on the Georgia Rome list? None. 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 Because it's well, they could be if those purveyors want to be on there, they have to go through the process, mm -hmm. but. Georgia Grown just created a Georgia Grown company where before I couldn't be a Georgia Grown company because all my products are not necessarily created in Georgia. I mean, my decoys or whatever. But now they have created it where if you're a Georgia Grown company, if you are a Georgia company, you can put a Georgia Grown label. And that just, that just happened in the last months. So we will be a Georgia Grown company, not a Georgia Grown product. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing. I can't hear.
Pensacola or, uh, or Omaha Mud. I'm up on about it. Georgia Drawn, the river, whatever happens there, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for that. Anybody else? How about the Altamaha River Keepers? Have you worked with them at all in terms of like a fundraising opportunity with the River Keepers? Yeah, it's, it's really become an issue of uh, just being able to tie everything together. Everybody's kind of going different ways, like there's the Omaha River Partnership that is represented in about 10 or 12 cities. It's kind of flat right now, so we're really trying to become something that can we can tie everything together, and that's why I said it's kind of convoluted as far as the different uh, streams that we could go down. And so as we move forward and as the website catches hold, we're able to show more of what the river is. I mean, you know, we can, anything from dolphin to, uh, to tarpon to uh, just, I mean, just the river itself is, is, a, is an awesome place. How many of y'all have ever been on the river? I mean, it's, it's a pretty awesome place. And if you've never been out on the coast, uh, you should come do it. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to drive traffic through, down the river to us. We're, the water runs right up, the river runs out under our store. We've got a 100 boat marina there, two way. We've got a restaurant there. So we've got everything that people need. And it's just a marketing opportunity. And, you know, if we get, if we get the younger kids involved on the river, you don't have near, it's a lot cheaper for a boat, I know you won't agree with it, than it is for lawyers. You know what I'm saying? So you, you, get them, you get them on the river and keep them on the river doing the things that, that, that they need to be doing on that river. You don't, you don't have problems. They look, they learn to love it and, and respect it. And if we don't do that, we're not going to have rivers, you know, to take care of them. Have you, uh, I know you said you were really connected with the two Chamber of Commerces, Darien or Glen County. Have you thought about hitting, you know, the old peaches to the beaches kind of concept? They have the big yard sale. They have festivals along that river. I, mean, I lived in Baxley for three years and they have a big festival there. I know Hazelhurst does, Jessup. And to kind of set up in those festivals and really get the word out through social media through those festivals, connect with some of those local people up the river. It, it's a great idea. And the one thing about the festivals for me is being able to do I got a seven day a week job right now, kind of. But to be able to travel and do that kind of thing, there is an expense, there's a cost, there's a time factor that's involved. And so we will start doing more of that. We're going to try to do it through uh, really the one that really appeals to me is Omaha uh, River Keepers and the, uh, the cities that are involved in the Omaha uh, River. Um, the, the developing the product lines, they're out there. The people have them, whether they're Georgia grown or whether they're not, they're out there. And so if we can find a way to market them at a festival, that'd be great. I'd a lot rather see them four or five, you know, and send them on. But um, that's definitely something we got to look into. Yes, sir. Well, I love your passion and tying the products into your passion for delivery and getting people. Out of curiosity, how many units or dollars of sales are you doing now, and what's your goal for this year? For um, units or sales? I, I actually do about a hundred and fifty thousand a year in sales through the brick and mortar store. The uh, website is substantially less. I do about a thousand dollars a month through it. Um, but it took me about eleven years to do a million dollars in the coffee business. So once you can scale it up a little bit, as things go, it should really, I think, should take off. But, you know, I've, I've been, it's been really my own fault in that when I came along, computers looked like the size of that, that uh, bar there, you know, and I'm going, no, there's not going to be one on every desk. And so I didn't really pay attention to that side of it. And so the social media coming like it did, I've got a gentleman named Clay Caldwell that has helped me with that tremendously. And he's kind of bringing me into the 21st century. So I think as we start bringing this along and start showing the videos and start showing people, people love videos. Yeah. They love it. They love the video themselves. They love the video. And so we're going to start doing more of the fact that, you know, if you've got a hunt or if you've got an event or if you've got a deal, we're not going out to sell you us video. We're going to get the video, show the event, 
especially if it's evolved around the river. We'd love to see this evolve into the Omaha Wildlife Festival, which is uh, a dream of mine that where you can just come in and it can be an interactive festival, whether it's skeet shooting, whether it's uh, dog trials, whether it's dog jumping, the whole nine yards is what I'd love to see it culminate every December here at the, at the bottom of the river. I think you could possibly tie in with what the two-way fishing tournament that they have every year, the annual tournament. I think that'd be something fun to get all the local community in here, just besides the fishermen, you know, uh, out there, the kayakers, the boat, the, the, the weekend, do-it-yourselfers, all that. I think it'd be fun to get them out there. But like you said, there's so many roads that you can travel down. He knows. He was one of the guys that, that helped <laughs> me develop this and put me into the social media side. And you're right. All those events, you know, hell, she's going to 30-something 30, 30 events. You know, if we have two or three where we are, that's great. That's more. Um, but if we could culminate it into, uh, you know, only so many people can do the fishing type tournaments. You know what I'm saying? Only so many people can fish. Only so many. But if we can do an interactive thing like uh, the wildlife festival or even just interact via social media with, uh, with video, I mean, it's amazing the things that you see. When I, I'm there every day. I'm there at 5.30 every morning. And I'm there at 6 o'clock every evening. And it's amazing the things that you see on that river, whether it's the sunset, the Golden Isles. I mean, that's where it came from, the grass, you know, and you can see it every day. And so you just have to be there and see it. And once you start seeing it, it kind of consumes you a little bit. I live where I live because of the river. And I work where I work because of the river. I had the product that I had because of the river. And I know you're going... He's a little nuts about the river. I, I am. I mean, I am. It's, it's life. It's life. You can't imagine the, when you go north on 17, you cross the South Omaha River. Then you cross the Champney River. Then you cross the Darien River, or Butler River. Then you cross the Darien River. That's all the Omaha. That's not, those, those, those are just branches. That's the whole, the whole thing is the Omaha River base. 14,000 square miles. You'd be amazed at the livings that have been drawn out of that river for years, whether it's the timber business, whether it's shrimping, crabbing, guiding. It, it's, a, it's a heck of a source of revenue. And all I want to do is let people know it's here, which they do, but let them know it's here, show them more what's here, and bring more people in. And the more people, especially younger folks, uh, that appreciate it, then it'll be more protected, and it'll be there for the next generation. So... Yes, sir. Have you thought about a uh, shop or retail outlet along this street here? I have thought about it, and people have some people show up, but it's all interactive. It's all. It's not just walk by a booth and buy something. It's you go shoot ski, you go run your dog, you go, you can duck hunt, you can do all these things that you do. So we're giving it a roll. You want to be a part of it? I'd love to have you help. Sure. All uh, right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. One of the things, if you go to our website and look at the uh, videos of people presenting, one of the things that's common across all of them is a passion for what they do. They, they need to do what they do. It's something you can't say no to. You do what you do. And that's really cool because you see it across all types of businesses, all types of people. And that's what we're trying to create here is an environment that is supportive of that. So the next time we meet, it's March 1st, we'll have some announcement of, who, uh, of who's going to present. And thank you very much and have a good rest of the week.